Hi there, welcome to another day of accountability. We're back at it again. <laughs> the last time I recorded was Monday. Today is Wednesday. Yesterday. Yeah, I guess I got a little lost in the usual sauce. And in all honesty, I've just learned to integrate it into my life. You feel me? Because I am at that point in time where a man's got to do what a man's got to do. Man's got to feel what a man's got to feel. You feel me? But that's the point. Today, I'd like to talk about the importance of having a schedule. Yeah, I'd like to talk about that prior to actually going into what I've done yesterday and today in my current state of mind. Yep. So I've noticed that <laughs> following a schedule is highly important, especially, especially when you have multiple tasks, because on this journey, right, first off, you started with the self-taught developer, software engineer journey, and then boom, bada, bang, you get me. That's definitely been taking time. But nonetheless, there is the necessity of <laughs> when entering into the freelancing realm you pretty much have to form a business well let me rather say i would rather have a business presentation instead of just freestyling it as a sole proprietor definitely especially understanding and having had the experience that i've had pushing mission after mission project after project you know, doing things extremely informally and aiming to do things somewhat formally. And right now, I've just found that it's actually best to go all in with formality. So with that being said, you know, off ramping into that, where even per se becoming a freelancer, I've found has required a lot from me, especially if I'm aiming to do it the way I'm supposed to do it, you know, and really put a great amount of effort and work in, then, yeah, whew, that's been its own process. So I've noticed within those sets, right, and the plethora of things that I've had to learn, a schedule is like highly important because it's easy to feel like no progress is being made or minimal amounts of progress is being made. And in all honesty, I feel like, A, it's important to write stuff down and allocate the hours because let's just say today I'm just focused on <laughs> installing ZAMP and setting up my working environment, right? I found that, you know, there comes a point in time where I get lost in the source and things are not adding up and my frustrations are sky high. Hence, I fall off. I stop doing the work and then I focus on nurturing my sense of well-being, if that makes sense. Or I'm more prone to getting distracted, you know, and not being in the zone. So I've noticed that it's important to just cut the line, you know, prior to that intense frustration, which I found I have a good amount within each task. So the best thing to do is to... Either A, take breaks, definitely, or B, because I have a plethora of things that I need to sort out, it's highly important that I move on to the next next task and progress that agenda, especially knowing that it's highly necessary at this point in time. Mm -hmm. And I guess there is a, a timeline as to when it should be accomplished. So... Yeah, that's been a big help and pushing yesterday and pushing today, I guess I've come to that point in time of being a lot more disciplined in order to follow a schedule and in order and actually being somewhat intelligent enough to apply the knowledge or yeah, apply myself to the schedule because it's easy to plan, but then the application is a different story. I guess I've been on this journey long enough to know what it is to understand myself internally and have the right expectations for me, for myself, and also knowing what is it that gives me a sense of insecurity or a sense of lack of progression. 
So with that being said, that's been highly important. And yeah, last week, yo, the spreadsheet was just on zero, the work spreadsheet. This week, it's far better. And, you know, just putting these little things into perspective, I've seen how it is that I can tweak and build these, yeah, build this up properly so that it makes sense. Because, yo, I could learn the software development stuff, but then again, it's like, yo, I need to start freelancing at the same time i could just freelance but then i won't reach my highest ideals <laughs> so it's a bit of a catch 22. life would definitely be simpler if i would just focus on one or the other but i guess let me just nurture my emotion by just following this spreadsheet or this game plan the way i would uh a full body workout you know i'm not just working arms today i'm working the whole body every day so that at least some sort of progression is made above all else and so that i also don't fatigue the muscle out but hey that's just my point of view that's just my point of view but definitely um that's a form of what it is that i'm doing is a form of accountability a necessary part of accountability and i'm glad to be using my diary again Soon enough, as time goes on, I'll also go into journaling and taking notes, but I've learned not to push it, you know? It's cool. Let's just focus on each discipline slowly and surely. So with that being said, that's my little chat and chat, 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 chat. How was yesterday and today? It's been well. Yesterday, I focused on ZAMP, uninstalled everything on my laptop just so that I could start again. Mm-hmm. I definitely did the Odin project. And I did not do the business aspect because those are my three tasks to do. The business stuff I did today, I just need to, yeah, I'll sort out my PayPal. So I just need to go to FNP and sort out my online banking stuff and then get back to my PayPal and see how far I can get with that. So I'm really glad about that. That was an additional task. Definitely free code camp, started again with the node, the Odin project, went back again. You, no, 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 I didn't go back again. I just continued with where I left off. You know, I finally finished the first segment of what is node yesterday. And then today I moved on to, I guess the practical aspect of node or working with the environment, which yeah, I'm really glad about. I feel like, Free code camp and it complement each other, and this is where they connect. Cause your free code camp just throws you in the deep end, and then you're wondering, <laughs> hey, uh, res dot send file. This and that. This is the handler. This is the path. You don't even know what's going on. What is Node even? You know. But then actually having the Odin project, you know, knock it into your head that Node is an asynchronous JavaScript runtime um pardon me for the miswording you know yeah and it allows you to develop on your laptop instead of just the web browser has been like oh okay cool i'm starting to understand a little more <laughs> and it's used for the back end it's it's what it's run on google chrome's v8 engine whatever that means but you know at least at least I see what it is that I understand and what it is that I don't understand and I can somewhat apply. So I'm really glad about that. I think I should really just continue at this pace because, you know, honesty, yo, I'm not going to lie. Hey, this journey has been long overdue. And after finishing all the coursework, I'm going to go through it again when it comes from the JavaScript, you know, and revise and really get the knowledge in. So that, because, yeah, I've basically gotten a broad perspective and overview which i'm glad for but practicality 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 projects there's still a lot more work to do but i'm i'm glad let me just follow the schedule let me just follow this this plan of mine and be disciplined and account for the hours account for the time and stay on the board instead of going about it haphazardly or just focus on one thing knowing that there's a plethora of things that i need to do you know i just need to yeah, <laughs> I just need to, yeah, just schedule them properly. But at least I have an understanding. So with that being said, that's all for today. Um, 
yeah, I went out to the beach. That was cool. Just chilled. And what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. Um, yeah. It's time to sleep early, wake up early tomorrow, go to gym. Yeah, try to be back by 7.30, you know, start the day, push a little, push, 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 push. It's about to be June soon. I'm trying to switch my life's directions for sure. But hey, we'll see how things go. And that's all for today, kids.